All right, Shalom. Just want to give all praises unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And salutations to all you Akim across the four corners pushing this word in sincerity and in truth. So, brothers, I have again another lesson. Um, just going in with <clears throat> dealing with faith. Also with um, the works that you do, you know, it goes hand in hand, you know, because um, <clears throat> in the world today, a lot of these people, they just um, say, you know, give your life to Jesus, so to speak. You know, these Christian um, say, give your life to Jesus and, you know, you'll be saved. And that's all you got to do. Just declare that, you know, he is your savior and then it's all good. You know, pretty much you can go about your life as usual. Once you show up to church when you can and, you know, and you, 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 you know, you pay your tithes sparingly and you don't curse, you know, and, and, and you live this, this, this so-called, you know, righteous life, which we know is, is completely off, you know, because it goes, it's, 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 it's fate is one thing, but you got to show your fate by your work. So I'll jump straight into it. This is um, Hebrews 11 and 6. It says, but without faith. It is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to the Mosai must believe that he is. So yeah, it is impossible to please the Mosai without faith. You know that's we're not denying that. You know, and it says, it says for he that cometh to the Mosai must believe that he is, which that goes back, omenomen to his name Yahweh, meaning he is, he exists, and that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. So you got to diligently seek the Most High. You know, this is not something where you just proclaim his name and then, you know, you go about your life. No, scripture said, give your body as a living sacrifice unto the Lord. So this is something that it's a lifestyle. It's something that you have to give up your whole, your whole body, man, to please your whole Bashem Yahweh Shai. 11 and 7, it says, by faith. Noah being warned of the Mosai of things not seen as yet moved with fear. Scripture says, seek out your salvation with fear and trembling, you know. And when the Mosai was telling Noah pretty much, you know, he's going to rain water down from the heavens, you know, that he that never even happened before, you know, um, just like today. You know, the, the prophets are out there warning the people that the Mosai is going to rain nuclear missiles you know and, and and the fire is going to encompass the whole of the the north america the united states you know babylon that's never happened before you know but did the flood happen yeah it did but did noah just hear that and then he just was you know accepted it and and praised you know dance did a song and dance with the most high and that was it no he had to work and build an ark and continuously work and continuously warn the people throughout the time before that rain actually hit. Uh, let me jump back up to the top. It says, um, he was 101. It says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So Noah hadn't seen rain before no, um, back then. It only had dew that would, you know, bring moisture to the to the grass and the, all the vegetation, you know. So this was something that he had never seen, you know. So what's faith? The substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, you know. And we haven't seen all the things that are going to come to pass, but we have faith that they're going to happen. But in the meantime, we do our due diligence and we work. We put the work in so that, you know, when that time comes, we're not caught, you know, as um, unknowingly. Okay. It says, by faith. Noah, being warned of the Mosai of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by which he condemned the world and became the heir of the righteousness, which is by faith. So it, it, it was by faith, you know, but he had to do put work in. You know, it wasn't something where he just, you know, like I said, he just sat around on his behind all day, man, and not, you know, and was saved. No, he had to. He had to do the work of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, and the people that weren't doing the work that was just out there, you know, having a good time, not listening. You know, what happened to them? They were all destroyed. Okay. This is um, James. 
I signed it um, 17, 2 and 17. Even so, fate, if it had no works, is dead, being alone. Like I said, it goes hand in hand, okay? This is something that it goes hand in hand. You can't just have fate and not do anything. You got to you gotta put work in, man, okay? And we're in the time right now of war. I just saw a um, notification on my phone, like, you know, a few minutes ago where, you know, um, North Korea launched a ballistic missile. And they're saying that it's 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 a it's a nuclear missile, okay? And then Trump just responded, you know, it's on my RT on my um, RT news notifications. Trump just responded and said they're gonna handle that. So we're at a we're at a time of war, okay? So scripture said, you know, <clears throat> prepare. You gotta prepare during these times, man. You gotta prepare yourself. You gotta build your faith up, but you gotta do the work, okay? It says, even so faith, if it had not works, is, be, is dead being alone. Yea, a man say, thou, was, thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without, without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. And when you look across, you know, um, the internet, <clears throat> across the four corners of the earth, the men of great millstone, their faith are being shown tremendously through their works, man. You know, I've never seen... You know, this much work by, uh, let's just use, you know, an organization, so to speak, you know, in my life, you know. And, and these brothers out there are doing this through the sincerity of their heart. Brothers are not getting paid for each video that they do. You know, brothers are not into this for, for, for money, man. This is one and only for the salvation, you know, of, of, um, of, of brothers. You know, this is, this is for the hopeful elect. You know, we're fishing for the hopeful elect, which is doing the work of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, and we gotta continuously, continuously show our fur, our um, salakia, our faith, um, true, true our works. You know, and that's why certain things are put out there. You know, by our elders and our apostles, which once again I bounce back over to Hebrews eleven and two. It says, okay, I saw that one again. It says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, for the evidence of things not seen. For by it, the elders obtain a good report. And every video that you go and you look at a, a great millstone, you brothers always start off by giving all praise, of course, to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and double honors to all apostles and elders who rule well. You know, by their faith, they, they were given, you know, um, a good report. You know, true constantly enduring everything that they go through you know we go through things too as this is you know uh, in our lives but so much more how much more you think you know the apostle taha apostle gaba apostle ramla apostle raka elam nata zach you know all the elders <coughs> like nap like bad <coughs> all these men man they go through probably you know i mean i don't i can't even put a number on it but let's say triple or quadruple amount of, of hell that you go through and they got to deal with so many different more issues and different men so their good report comes from their faith in Yahweh keep doing the work you know they never let anything you know stop them from doing the work or break them down you know so this is why they are counted to be given double um double honor okay once again James 2 and 20 but well, thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead. You know, so you can't, you you can't just look, you can't just sit around not doing anything, man. Say that you got faith at the most that's gonna get you out of here. The most guy requires more. You know, it requires more from you. You gotta show him. You know, you know, you gotta show him. And there's there are examples of that in the scriptures. You know, there's examples of that. Noah being one, Abraham being another one. You know, you gotta you gotta be able to 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 do these things. How shy being the, the the ultimate example? You know, he did he did wondrous works. You know, unto death. You know, and he was wrongfully um, killed. You know, then wicked as um, Israelites man. You know, they 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 were they were envious of him for his works, and they wanted him dead. You know, but he did what he had to do. You know, and that's the same thing with us. We got to do what we got to do. We got to do the work of Yahweh Shai.
point blank period. Okay, this is Galatians 6, and I'll start at, um, I saw the 7, Galatians 6 and 7 says, Be not deceived, the Most High is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, then shall he also reap. So, whatever you put forward, that's what you're going to get. Okay? So you got to put your best foot forward because you want to you wanna be a part of that, um, that 144. Okay? <clears throat> it says, so verse 7, Be not deceived, Yahweh Shai is not... Salakia, the most high is that mock for whatsoever a man sow it, that shall he also reap. For he that sow it to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that sow it to the spirit shall of the spirit reap everlasting life. So we can't be caught up with, you know, <clears throat> too much of our worldly lives, man. You know, yeah, we gotta go to work, we gotta deal with certain situations, certain people, but our main focus should be, you know, sowing that spiritual garden, man building up your spiritual um, bank account, you know, because that's, that's where you're going to get everlasting life. There's nothing else out here. There's nothing else left for us to do, you know. All these people out here, they're working these, these um, nine to fives and, and, and <clears throat> saving up money, saving up their savings and their 401ks so that their kids could go to college and all that. We've seen, we've been here in Babylon long enough to see that th that comes to naught. Our people are still finished they're still in a, in, a, in a terrible condition out here, still being shut down by the police, still at the bottom of the totem pole, you know, still don't know who they are, still just out here just completely destroyed. So the only thing, you know, to do is to do the work of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh so that we can reap that, that everlasting life, you know, that real reward, you know. So we got to continuously keep pushing. That's why... The spirit is uh, jumped on Apostle Taha to say do these videos, man, because that keeps you, it keeps you in the spirit. It keeps you, you know, constantly working and 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 suffering for your Habashim It keeps your mind, you know, focused on the spirit of the Lord, you know, which is the only protection in the days that that's, that's coming. Okay, so with that, just want to tell Akiyam, you know, keep pushing, you know, keep showing your um your faith by your works, you know, and, and, um, you know, constantly endure this, 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 the last few days that we have in this wicked place, man. With that, I want to give all praises unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to all apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and much love to you, Akim, across the four corners of the word. Shalom.